this is it. Oh, I want my mommy. <laughs> Boom, it is a new week and spring is most certainly in the air. Check it out. Um, beautiful morning for a run. That was not such a beautiful run this morning for me. Um, finished my 30, 30k, uh, got through it, um, but it was tough. You know what, I knew it would be hard after yesterday's very undulating 40k. Um, why it was tough is because my hamstring, my left hamstring was actually pretty sore today. Um, not excruciatingly sore, but just pulling tight like biting a little bit in a way um basically just telling me nick you need to respect me uh yesterday <clears throat> on that undulating route um i hammered the downs and super shoes and you know i've been training and pushing my limits harder than ever before so i'm always going to get niggles and um yeah i always say if, if a niggle is worse than six out of ten then stop you're better off not pushing so this was Let's call it five and a half out of ten. Um, almost dead, warmed up. Uh, the worst part was the first K and then it warmed up, warmed up. I hardly felt it and in the end it was biting again a little bit. Um, so I'm going to spend the rest of today, not the rest of today, but a little bit of today um, foam rolling, massage gunning, Epsom salt bath, really try and bring it to life and get it fresh for track tomorrow. Um, if it's feeling good, I will get through the track session tomorrow. Um, if it's more than 6 out of 10 sore and pulling um, at speed that really kills it, then I most certainly won't. I will skip the session. There's been far too much good work done in this block so too far um, to be risking it at this late stage. So yeah, let's hope it comes right and um, I'll do what I can to, to get it feeling good tomorrow. Good morning party people! It is Tuesday today and I actually don't need to explain what that means. Track Tuesday. Um, today the session is 8 by 3 minutes, 8 by 2 minutes, 6 by 1 minute, 1 minute recovery in between, 45 seconds in between the 1 minute. And I have got a bit of company today. Woo! Coach Tommy's joining me. Hello, hello. As promised last week, uh, like we know, he's also targeting Rotterdam. So, yeah, mighty fine morning, vest, sunglasses, no gloves today, which is magical. And uh, yeah, just got to keep grinding. 46 minutes of volume. Um, doesn't get easier, but makes you tougher. The legs can most certainly still feel the hilly Sunday 40k. Um, hamstring feels okay, so I'm gonna let it dictate the session. Obviously, I would love to get through it, but if it starts pulling and get tighter and tighter, then it's definitely not worth the risk. Tommy, how are you feeling? Feeling good. I'm gonna do the eight by three minutes and then four by two minutes. I haven't quite built up to 46 minutes of volume yet. So I'm going to keep it easy. I want to get to Rotterdam feeling good. Yeah, should be nice. good. Awesome. Scared, excited? Very excited at this point. I just want to get it done. <laughs> I've been, I've done a 15 week marathon block. So it's been a really big one. So <laughs> nice. I want to get it done now. Awesome. And enjoy summer. Cool. Okay, let's do it. I am doing it in the Adidas Prime X shoes once again. Um, I'll do most of my interval track sessions in these. Let's go, baby. Come on. Tommy, absolute champ. Wow. Here's my pole. X marks the spot. Oh, I want my mommy. Jeepers. 46 minutes volume. Wow. Definitely stronger than yesterday. Um, but to be honest, I don't know how many more 46 minutes slash 15 kilometer track volume 
sessions I can take. I know Kipchoge's group do them every week, but I'm not Kipchoge's group. <laughs> um, and yeah, mad respect to them. That is, honestly, it's taking a lot out of me, but all we can do is hope and pray it'll be worth it on race day. Um, yeah, splits really good. Uh, for the first three minute reps, I averaged around 303, 304. For the two minute reps, around 258. Um, and for the one minute reps, probably around 250-ish. Last one, 244. Um, I think that's the quickest I've run all year, even though it was only a one minute interval. Nice to know the legs can go there. Biggest takeaway from the session. Hey, how are you? Biggest takeaway from the session, the hamstring. Yes! It was okay. I felt it in the beginning and then it just warmed up and I hardly felt it throughout the session. Um, if I have to take Thursday off, um, because I've got a big session Saturday, I'll do that. But Hammy, if you look after me, I will look after you. Mwah, thank you so much. Tommy, how did you find it, buddy? It was really good, actually. So for the eight by three minutes, I averaged around 3.22 pace. And then for the four by two minutes, I averaged about 3.15. So nice progression, a bit quicker than what I was planning. So perfect. Nice. Really excited for Rotterdam now. Woo. Three and a half weeks to go. Come on. <laughs> the lad's looking fresh. He looks like he's hardly even run. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, awesome. You're tracking for that uh, 237, sub yes, 237, exactly. 236.59. Yeah. You got this. Okay, guys, almost there. Three and a half weeks. It's starting to get tough. I'm not going to lie. But we're stronger than yesterday, and that's what counts. Peace out. So, I'm just about home. Um, just clocked 30Ks. Um, which means 100k is over the last three days which is limits i've probably never ever pushed my body to um but like i've said before mileage is great for training but it means nothing if the quality is not there and after today at least i know the quality is still there um but it actually got me thinking the last few uh, minutes of that track session when the going gets tough I just thought of Rotterdam for last but you know what I'm gonna do coming down that home stretch hopefully if all goes to plan gotta stay positive and that's enough motivation and excitement to get me through that last bit um, and then when it gets tough in a race I generally think of the people that mean most to me but I would love to know in the comments what you think of what gets you through that last bit of training that last few tough reps in the interval session and what gets you through those tough sessions in a track session ah sorry in a race let me know I would love to know Good morning! What an absolute beaut of a morning. London on full display. Um, it's currently 6.25 in the morning, uh, Thursday morning. But I have no problem waking up early when it's a day like this. Um, so I'm on my way to the usual uh, Adidas Thursday run. And yesterday, I pretty much just did a 21k recovery shakeout. Um, felt pretty good. The hammy was great, which was the biggest thing. Um, so yeah, look, I was always going to pick up niggles along this block. If I thought, if I, thought I was going to be niggle free, I'm in dreamland. But um, yeah, yeah, we are. Thursday morning, feeling good. I'm taking an Adidas run at 7 and Adidas run at 8. And then I'm going to do my own session at 9. So getting it all done this morning. Sweet. Kenyan style fart leg. Let's go. <laughs> what a morning got it all done today um, the 7 a.m. session was the Adidas session number one quarter past eight Adidas session number two and then at about quarter past nine my session uh, so my session was a fart leg session uh, 10 by two minutes on one minute off around the ever so beautiful Hyde Park uh, I'm walking over this bridge I mean check at this there's the 
shard in the distance. All the way over there. Uh, St. Paul's my personal favorite. You can see it all from here. Uh, yeah, pretty much on Saturday, I've got a really, really huge session. Um, 10 by 3 Ks. <laughs> 10 by 3 Ks. 3 by 10 K. Um, total volume is going to be 40k in total with warm-up, cool-down and uh, float recovery. So pretty much from here on in, I've got just under two days to try and get the legs fresh. Um, I'm going to hit Battersea bright and early before the traffic gets there. Um, but yeah, Thursday morning, got it all done today, uh, well spent, and I am ready for breakfast, lunch and dinner all in one go. Time to get some calories back in the booty. Good morning. It is currently six o'clock in the morning and we have a big breakfast ahead of a big session. Check it out. So I started this morning with a cup of coffee followed by a hydration tablet, always every day, um, and then four slices of toast for breakfast. Um, just natural peanut butter with a little scoop of honey. Um, I will have a bar after that as well, just a pre-energy bar. Um, in my drink mix today, I've got the Science and Sports Electrolyte Go, so I'll have those two bottles, and then I'll most likely take two to three gels. Yeah, pretty big breakfast for a pretty big session. Um, time to get it in and come to life. Good morning. So today we have the biggest session of the block. I have come to the ever so beautiful Battersea Park, which is my personal playground. Um, as you can see, it's not too busy yet. But I can guarantee you, in two and a half hours when the session is done, yes, two and a half hours, wow, um, this park is going to be pumping. So the sooner we start, the better. It's currently 7 a.m. in the morning, um, and it's about three or four degrees or so, um, but absolutely perfect conditions. Um, I'm wearing my sunglasses because the sun's coming through. Um, and today, kit-wise, I shall be in my Adidas Prime X shoes. Um, really, really nice shoe, and it just helps me recover quickly. Um, I'll explain the session during the warm-up, but yeah, the sooner we get going the better. This is obviously the biggest session of the block, um, three weeks out before Rotterdam. Uh, so really a massive session for me to tick off and I am pumped for it. I am going to stay positive, I'm ready to go. So let's do it. We have started the watch and there is no going back now. Um, so the session details, I've got a 4k warm-up. And then I've got three sets of 10Ks. Um, the first set, I'm gonna look to do it around 324 pace, so 324 per kilometer pace, which is in around 34 minutes. The second 10K uh, at around 318 per kilometer pace, which is 33 minutes. And then the last 10K at around 312, 313 per K, woohoo! Um, which is around 32 minutes. There's one K floats in between. Um, and then cool down is going to be our 3Ks, so total run 40Ks um, and why I said I'm not doing it alone is because Matt Fox, how you doing? He's in Portugal at the moment, um, I think he started his session at pretty much the exact same time and he's doing the exact same session, targeting the exact same splits and we're going to work together slash go head to head at Rotterdam in three weeks time, so yeah I know Doing this session solo is obviously very tough, but one thing that most certainly helps is knowing that Matt's going to be doing it in Portugal. Um, I am feeling good, but it's the first K, so you can't really judge right now. So I can't wait to analyze it afterwards, split screen, see the videos, and see who nailed it better. Matt, good luck champ. See you in three weeks. Let's go.
my way. Come on, mate, you got this. Don't give up, man. Woo! Son. Wow. 3.11. Last set average pace. 31.52. Huge. Oh, my word. Wow. Woo! So, session done. Wow. I know I've said this a few times, but that was definitely the best session of my life. Um, keep pushing the boundaries a little bit higher. There's no shortcuts. I've never worked harder. And it's all to give, up, give ourselves a shot in three weeks time. Seriously, huge confidence booster. 40 Ks, I'm in the last two Ks. Last lap of 14 in this park. Um, splits were amazing for me. Uh, 34, 33, 32 minutes, 10 Ks. Um, pretty much 30 Ks at sub. 220 pace so honestly we're there we're there we have to believe there's no option we're doing it we are doing it there's so many people supporting this journey i'm not going to let myself down i'm not going to let you down we are doing it um rest day tomorrow one more week big week and then we start cutting down and then it's taper time Nothing to be gained in the last two weeks. All about getting to Rotterdam with fresh legs. Peace out. Catch you next time.